Hi guys, welcome back. This is Mr. Smith, and we're playing Taito Ecology, and um, we're going to add the K-Pox tree today, because that's what we voted on. So, let's put some K-Pox in here. So, let's go to plants. So, plants and trees, are they producers or consumers, guys? They are producers. They do not need to eat. They create their own energy from the sun. So we're gonna put a bunch of these k pox trees in here and we're gonna make this look pretty nice. Oh, that's big. Okay, we need to have a lot of space for this, I guess. All right, there we go. Look at that, that's huge. Guys, look how big that is. That's amazing. All right, so that is the k pox tree. We did look at it in the classroom. We did some research and this is what we chose. And we knew it was gonna be pretty big, but I didn't know it was gonna be that big. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can put one somewhere else. There isn't a lot of space because of all the ferns. Um, can we put one here? It's hard to put one in. I don't know if there's a way to delete. Oh, we can put one here. Let's, let's do that. Let's put a K-Pock here. And here so guys that looks pretty cool huh all right so let's take a look at our turtles and our jaguars and everything so there are six plus 75 is 81 yellow-footed tortoises and there are a hundred and five of these in that area so okay so let's see about our jaguars So the ocelots aren't eating a lot of the tortoises. I'm not really sure why, because they should be cutting down on the baby tortoises. And the, um, this is amazing. I love this. Very nice ecosystem we have here right now. Uh, let's see, the Cotamundis, we have 10 and 24 juveniles, 14 weeks. Let's try and find a baby Cotamundi and see how long it will take for them to grow up. Because we need to have more adult Kodamundis. One of the reasons I don't want to put any... Um, our mushrooms are doing their job. Detritus is reduced. Um, one of the reasons I don't want to put in anything... 105 weeks until maturity. So we're probably going to let this play for a while. And let the Kodamundis grow up. Because we need to have some more adult... Kodamundis. One of the reasons I don't want to put in anything that's going to eat the adult turtles is because we need adult turtles to make baby turtles. So if we put in like jaguars or something big that can eat the big turtles, then we won't have any, we won't have any um, new baby turtles and we need those. Although there's 370 weeks until maturity. So there's a long time and they're very hungry. Look at that. Guys, why do we think the yellow-footed tortoise babies are very, very hungry? Okay, if you said because there's too many of them and they're eating all the ferns, you are correct. There are way too many tortoises in this environment. Um, so we have the ocelots. Let's put a couple more ocelots in because I think that will help take care of the baby tortoises. Um... So let's put another ocelot territory in. Let's actually put two in. All right. So guys, we have two more ocelot territories. I'm gonna let this play for a little bit and see what happens. I think now with there being six ocelots instead of just two, we will get a decrease in the turtle population. That's really what we need. There's too many turtles and there aren't, isn't enough food. You can see the baby turtles are all the way out here because they're very, very hungry. This isn't where their area is. If you look, their territory... Well, their territory is kind of big. But they're, that's not where they originally were. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to let this play for a while. And uh, we'll come back to it in a little bit. So, anyways. So, there's the K-Pak tree, guys. Hey guys, I'm back. So it's been a while and um, I let this play for a while. And with our added um, ocelot uh, 
territories, we really have a big difference in the turtle population now. So we've gone from having about 100 turtles to having about 53 or 54 turtles for each um, group. Uh-oh. What are they saying about the ocelots? Oh, there's only one ocelot. Why is there only one? They don't really have any predators, so I'm not sure why they're dying out. So we'll have to see. Maybe they're hungry. I don't know. They shouldn't be, though, because there were, like, a hundred turtles to eat. So, um, yeah, we really have decreased our turtle population, which is good. Because then our fern population can make, an, uh, make a comeback. So, the kapok trees are nice. We have two big kapok trees. And, you know, what I'm going to do, guys, since we voted on the heliconia... And we we didn't vote to, to, to add the Heliconia, but we're going to unlock it now. And we're going to add it so that we have a little bit more diverse uh, plant population. So, can we add it here? Okay, we're going to have to find a place we can put it. We have so many ferns, I think that's the problem. So I think our fern population is too much. I think we might be able to put it here. Yep, there we go. So now we have the Heliconia as well. Yeah, we can't really place it anywhere else, but it should spread anyways. So guys, why do we think... Okay, why do we think the... Uh, Yellow-footed tortoise population has grown so small. Hopefully you guys know why that is. If you guessed because we added the uh, predators, you are correct. So guys, we're going to un actually unlock another area in our biodome because we have a lot of points. So let's confirm that we will unlock this for 125 points, because we can. Huh. All right, let's close this. So guys, look, we have three areas now that we can work with. We have a little hill in the middle here. So guys, what do we need to put on the edge here so that our plant population can grow over to this area? If you guessed pollinators, you are correct. So let's put some pollinators over here. We need to put a moth. We will place that. We will place the morpho butterfly. And guys, let's add another plant to this area so that we can uh, fill it out. Maybe, you know, the only one left is the strangler fig. So guys, we're going to add strangler fig next time. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this episode, and I hope you learned a lot. Um, I really do. Th I think that um, this is good for our biodome because now that we have more ocelots and less turtles, I think the ferns can make a comeback because there aren't like a thousand turtles eating all the, all the ferns. So you can see, even now, there aren't any ferns in this circle where the turtles are. And if we look over here, this circle where the turtles are, there's no ferns either. So hopefully with more ocelots and less turtles, we will have more plant growth going on. And we're going to have to see what happens in this third um, area of our biodome, guys. So this is actually, we're doing really well. This is, this is a lot better than we did the first time. Um... And I love the K-Pop trees. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this science lesson. And um, have a great day and enjoy your weekend, guys. Bye.